Hi everybody, I'm Pierre Bouvard, Chief Insights Officer here at Cumulus Media in Westwood One. And what are the five key takeaways from the world's largest study of radio advertising effectiveness? Big audio data mine. It's the world's largest study ever of AM FM radio ad effectiveness. And it's the brainchild of Mark Barber, planning director Radio Center in the UK, and Jason Brownlee, the founder of Color Text, also in the UK. Together, they have created Radio Gauge, which has been operating for over a decade, and it's been conducting campaign effectiveness studies for tons and tons of radio campaigns in the UK. And what they've decided to do is take all of these studies, look at them together to draw some overarching conclusion about the campaign effectiveness of radio. And this study is huge. Over a thousand radio campaigns covering 463 brands, 14 sectors, seven radio planning factors, 22 creative attributes, and five effectiveness outcomes. The five key findings that you need to know. Number one, radio helps create future demand. Number two, radio helps convert existing demand. Number three, radio helps increase the efficiency of media plans. Four, the best performing campaigns place an emphasis on creative consistency. And number five, campaigns that focus on building higher weekly reach deliver the strongest impact. Now, Let's take a look at those first two points about creating future demand and converting existing demand. Now, some might call creating future demand brand building, and some might call converting existing demand sales activation. But these concepts of creating future demand and converting existing demand have been popularized in a new book from James Herman called Future demand by building your brand among tomorrow's customers is the key to startup success. So these two super important jobs of marketing. An analogy for converting existing demand is the apple orchard where the trees are full of fruit and all you need to do is pick the apples. Converting existing demand is about making sure your advertising targets that small group of consumers who are in market and they're ready to buy and getting many of them as possible to come to your brand. Now, creating future demand is about planting new apple trees. Now that takes six months to a year. The trees have to be planted, they have to be taken care of, fruit has to grow. Creating future demand is advertising to that much larger group of consumers who are not in the market, not ready to buy, but will be in the future and making them feel familiar and positive about your brand. So a way to think of these two very different creative strategies and media strategies, converting existing demand, which is typically sales event marketing, is about creating a lead, getting sales now, you're tightly targeted. It's short term, usually a limited time offer with rational copy that's product focus with very persuasive messages. Building those orchards, planting the trees, brand building, creating future demand is about creating a memory, influencing future sales using broad reach over a long term and emotion based creative. So let's dig more into those five key findings from big audio data mine, the world's largest study of radio advertising effectiveness. Key finding number one, AM FM creates future demand by growing awareness and building positive brand sentiment. Across the over 1,000 studies, the average campaign saw an increase in advertising awareness of 49%. Brand relevance grew 24% on average, and brand trust grew 32%. So these are mid-upper funnel 
metrics. And if you take a look at brand awareness across a wide variety of sectors, you can see that some categories saw even greater increases in awareness, automotive, B2B, travel, CPG, telecom, and government. Key finding number two, AMFM radio converts existing demand by growing purchase consideration and stimulating online response. So these are lower funnel metrics. 18% brand consideration increase on average. Searching online for details, a 21% increase across the 1,000 studies and accessing the brand website, a 19% average increase. Key finding number three, AM FM radio enhances the efficacy of media plans with tremendous efficiency, with outsized increases in awareness, brand relevance, and trust. Now across these over 1,000 campaigns, on average, radio represented about 8% of the typical media plan. However, the lift in these three key metrics, awareness, relevance, and brand trust, was much, much greater than that 8%. In fact, the increase in awareness was five times greater than that 8% radio investment. The increase in brand relevance was triple the investment. The increase in brand trust was four times the radio investment. Key finding number four, the best performing campaigns placed a emphasis on creative consistency. So think about the music, the voices, the slogan, the sonic branding. The best performers were incredibly consistent over the years with those distinctive brand assets from their campaigns. Key finding number five, the campaigns that focused on building reach and building greater weight delivered stronger effects. What Color Text and Radio Center did is they looked at the campaigns with the greatest reach and the smallest reach, the campaigns with the highest weight and the lowest weight. And what they found consistently is that the increase in awareness was much greater with those campaigns that had greater reach and greater campaign GRP. So weight matters. Now, for those advertisers watching this video who aren't using radio after seeing all this, let me give you a real life media planning scenario right out of Nielsen Media Impact, the optimization and media planning software platform. Here is a classic and typical ad buy, linear TV, connected TV and digital with a mix that's 68% linear, 13% connected TV and 20% digital, it generates a fairly impressive reach of 57%. Now let's hold the budget the same and let's just add in a 10% allocation for AM FM radio. So we're just gonna squeeze down linear TV, connected TV and digital just a little bit to make room for a 10% radio allocation at the same weight and same budget. Watch what happens, boom. The reach goes from 57% to 80% with the same budget. Just by creating a 10% allocation for AM FM radio, that 57 to 80 is a 40% increase in reach at the same budget. So big audio data mine, the world's largest and most comprehensive radio advertising effectiveness study. The five key findings, radio helps create future demand, converts existing demand, increases the efficiency of media plans, the best performing campaigns, place an emphasis on creative consistency over the years, and the campaign with the strongest effects built greater weekly reach. Now, what are three action steps that your agency and your brand can utilize from these learnings? Well, number one, Use AM FM radio to improve your campaign efficiency, create future demand, and convert existing demand. As you saw through the data, radio campaigns have a significant impact both at the top and the bottom of the funnel, and they add to the overall effectiveness.
Number two, maximize weekly reach. Optimizing for reach can occur through a couple of different strategies. Diversifying your media plans with additional vendors, additional radio programming formats, more stations, shifting weight to all days and day parts. The objective, grow reach and reduce frequency. This radio is a frequency medium is a myth. Reach is the foundation of media effectiveness. So do everything in your power to push frequency down and grow reach. Your mantra should be remind the many, don't lecture the few. Number three, use distinctive audio brand assets consistently and across media. A recently released study from Ipsos called The Power of You reveal that audio branding is three times as effective as visual branding, but it's only used by 8% of advertisers. So go for consistent, distinctive audio brand assets. The Audio Active Group here at Cumulus Media in Westwood One is a full service advisory for national brands, offering media planning recommendations, creative best practices, and measurement services where we measure the impact of the entire audio investment. Each and every week, we publish a new audio insight like this or a case study. It can be found on our blog at cumulusmedia.com or westwood1.com. And when you're there, you can sign up to get a free email of the weekly case study. Thanks so much for the opportunity to take you through the five key findings from the world's largest radio ad effectiveness study, Big Audio Data Mine. Thanks so much.